The Dolphins are set to hire former Denver Broncos head coach Vic Fangio as their new defensive coordinator and with that will come a drastic change in scheme. The Miami Dolphins' defense will have a very different look under incoming defensive coordinator Vic Fangio. However, there are specific players on Miami's defense who stand to benefit from this change more than others, let's dive into which Dolphins have a chance to raise their game a level in Fangio's defense, Jevon Holland. Safety, Holland burst onto the scene with an impressive rookie season in 2021. He was still good in 2022, recording two interceptions, 96 total tackles and seven passes defended, however, Holland was expected to take a jump into league stardom this past season, and he didn't quite make it. His production as a pass rusher dropped he recorded just one quarterback hit and 1.5 sacks in 2022, there was a lot of pressure put on Holland in Miami previous scheme. He was responsible for playing as a single high safety. Making him the last line of defense, that worked when cornerbacks Xavier Howard and Byron Jones were healthy in 2021, but this past season Miami cornerback injuries made Holland's role impossible to manage at an elite level. Enter Fangio's quarters heavy scheme, which puts several players into deep zones capping the offense from creating big plays. Some responsibility will be taken off Holland's plate, allowing him to hopefully play more freely and aggressively. He'll no longer be responsible for patrolling the entire back end with no help on most plays. Additionally, a lot of Holland's value to Fangio's defense will come before the ball is even snapped. Holland can play all over the field thanks to his stout tackling and reliable man coverage. Fangio loves using his safeties to disguise defenses pre-snap before rotating them post-snap to confuse opposing quarterbacks. Holland is so versatile, where he lines up won't tip Miami hand, Holland can win from deep zones, in the box and from the slot in man coverage. He's also proven to be an effective blitzer, which isn't something Fangio's defenses are known for, but it's reasonable to believe that could change for a player like Holland, the benefit Fangio's scheme will provide Holland might not always show up in the box score. But it will show up on film and benefit Miami defense as a whole. Bradley Chubb, edge rusher, this one is pretty obvious, but it has to be mentioned. Chubb reunites with his head coach from Denver to play in a scheme he's already pretty familiar with, ironically, Chubb spent most of Fangio's tenure injured. Chubb had 12 sacks in 2018, the season before Fangio was hired, and totaled just 8.5 sacks in 25 games across three seasons with Fangio at the helm. The Dolphins traded a lot for Chubb at the 2022 deadline, and although he was solid for them down the stretch, Miami needs to get more out of him, assuming Chubb can stay healthy, he should be capable of producing better numbers in Fangio's scheme. His familiarity with it should help, but he'll also be going back to being a more aggressive run defender. Miami's defense put an emphasis on stopping the run with its defensive lineman two gapping in previous seasons. Fangio's defense still needs stout run defense, but he'll ask the defensive lineman to play a gap and a half. That will allow Chubb to pin his ears back a bit more and get back to the aggressive mentality that makes him a successful pass rusher. A player like Rams pass rusher Leonard Floyd is a good example of what extra time in the system can do for a pass rusher. Floyd played under Fangio in 2018 and recorded just four sacks, however, when he played under Brandon Staley, a known Vangio disciple, Floyd produced a career-high 10.5 sacks. Chubb is a better player than Floyd and has more experience in Fangio's scheme. 